Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my LP run for the game Mega Man 1 on the NES. In today's part, we're going to be taking on the fourth level in the Wily Castle, and we're probably going to be wrapping up with the game in this video. I have to admit also that I've really enjoyed this playthrough of the game. Definitely brings back a lot of memories for me, and for a game that's 30 years old, you know, there's not a lot of them out there that I'd really want to pick up today, but this is definitely one of them that's still a lot of fun. It's also kind of a cool thing here, he's got, uh, Dr. Wily's got all these, uh, Gutsman prototype robots, uh, that are all stacked up here at the top of the screen. I guess he was gonna create a whole army of Gutsmans or something like that. <laughs> And then for this part right here, you can use the magnet beam to get across uh, the gap. It's a really uh, easy way to do it. It's probably a lot better than waiting for the cart, you know, to come all across the screen. And we'll just hop down here. Make sure you get the, uh, the cross item over here because that's going to refill all of your weapon energy. And I think it also refills your health as well. And now that we have the weapon energy back, we're going to be doing a revisit with all the old bosses. We're going to have Bomb Man first, and Bomb Man is really simple with the uh, Fireman weapon. Shouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, just stay away from his bombs and uh, do the best that you can not to take any damage against him. Fireman is really hard to get through. Um, this guy can hit you a lot, and is a... Uh, very difficult fight. Make sure you don't get hit too much because that can uh, really uh, wreck your chances of getting through the game without, you know, um, taking at least one death. Iceman, of course, is pretty easy to beat, but uh, Gutsman, surprisingly, is not. This is a really hard fight with him, and if you can get the um, hang of his pattern, and avoid those blocks that he's throwing at you. He's not too bad. He only takes three hits with the bomb, so he's not, you know, it's definitely not an unwinnable fight, but, uh, actually I had one time when I fought him where he somehow hit me with that block after he died, and it gl kind of glitched out the whole screen a little bit. It was pretty cool. Make sure you grab the uh, weapon capsule there and switch out to the fireman weapon, and we're now going to be taking on Dr. Wily his first form. This is probably one of the easier fights I would say with him. For his first form you just want to stay kinda close to the uh, little hand there. As you can tell he goes down really fast with the fireman weapon. Second form is a little bit harder and if you use the select trick here this is a really easy fight but uh, I don't really want to do that. I want to kinda show off you know what the battle would normally be like. Um, you can also stand directly underneath him, and that's an easy way to avoid those uh, bullet projectiles, but still, I had hardly any health left when I was fighting him here, so this is not easy by any means. I'm, I'm definitely not exaggerating when I say it's very, very difficult to beat him without taking a, a death, but we managed to do it. We have taken down Dr. Wily, and uh, peace has now been restored. Of course, not for too long, you know, knowing these games, but, uh, for the time being. Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace. And another cool thing I want to mention here is that this is a remix of the intro song for Mega Man 2. Um, so I really love the uh, musical arrangement in this game, and... Uh, Honestly, it's just so much fun to play it, even though it's an old game now, and uh, 
as I said earlier, there really aren't that many, you know, 30-year-old games that I would want to pick up, you know, today. But this is definitely one of them. It wasn't a game that I played uh, very much growing up because I you know, only started playing it when I had a ROM and an, an emulator. Um, I did play Mega Man 2 quite a bit growing up. That was one of my favorite games and uh, still is, so we'll probably be getting around to that one next. But uh, definitely has a very uh, cool, nice ending, especially for the time period, I think. It's almost like he's running from the mountains into maybe a Japanese city like Tokyo or something, I'm not sure. Who knows, I guess it could really be anywhere. And there's Dr. Light and Roll. And uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this LP. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will be back soon with Mega Man 2. This is Josh Dragon, signing out.